It is Saturday, February 8th, uh, the first cleanup and demo day um, at OBR, our new campus. I'm uh, gonna go inside and check out what's going on. Looking good. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Hey guys, so I'm here with Pastor Rick and Carl. Guys, how's the, how's the morning going so far? Pretty pretty good. I was impressed with the number of cars in the parking lot. We've got awesome representation from Gettysburg Pike and Good, good Hope Road. Yeah. Kids and adults of all ages pitching in, swinging hammers. Carl's a beast. Guys, um, <laughs> listen, I, I do have to say one thing I think we've been lacking in a little bit. No. I don't think we're paying enough attention to safety. Wait, what? Uh, I'm happy uh, to remind everyone that at Daybreak we do value safety. Um, You're a buzzkill, man. Demo Dan is here uh, to thoroughly enjoy the rest of our demo day. Woo! For those of you that haven't gotten a chance to get to our OBR location yet, there's all these really, really cool rooms, um, all these cool little areas back here that are so awesome to see. Um, it's definitely worth exploring. And there's some really awesome things um, at this location, um, stuff that we've never been able to experience before at Daybreak. Let me, uh, let me show you. Guys, right here behind the worship center, I've never seen this before. I mean, I know that sometimes we work pretty hard during service and need a way to relax afterward, um, but there's a hot tub right behind the worship center. Check this thing out, it is awesome. I've never seen this before. Hey Rick. Hey, what you doing? Uh, checking out the hot tub, you ever seen this? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a back street. Oh. Guys, wanted to reflect really quick. Um, it seems like there's just a huge amount of stuff that got done today. Um, even more than we expected would be done in the amount of time, right? We busted it today. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> way to go daybreak. <laughs> we came in, uh, walls came down, lots of stuff got cleared out, and we are excited about being able to clear the slate, create a clean slate for our construction company to come in. And what they're gonna be able to do when they move in in March is gonna be amazing because of the work that we've done. We put in some real sweat equity today as a spiritual family. Uh, we're excited about the 29th. If you're able to come join us on the 29th um, that Saturday, we're going to kind of finish up our part in this and uh, just prepare the way for uh, for the experts to come in and do what they do well. Uh, we're going to build the church That's right. on the spiritual front. And they're going to come in and build us a church building, uh, an environment that we can uh, we can see people deepen, uh, discover and deepen uh, their relationship with Jesus. Can you guys talk a little bit to the spiritual significance mm. of today for our church family? Watching 50 or more people come together from both of our campuses in this moment of following God together, just to say in solidarity, like we are one church family and we're about this vision of reaching people all across the West Shore. Mm. And um, we're gonna link arms, right? Like link arms together and, and do something significant to change the world. And it, there's a lot of stuff that happened here physically, but in my heart, um, I feel like it actually moves the needle in the spiritual world. Mm -hmm. As we say, Lord, like the gates of hell won't prevail against us. And we're knocking down walls just like that today. As Rick said, don't miss the 29th. Uh, come on out, have a blast with us. And thank you so much, honestly, Daybreak. Thank you so much uh, for being all in on what God is calling us to do and the vision he's given our church. Here we go. Build your